1955, a banner year for movies. James Dean and Rebel Without a Cause, Guys and Dolls and Mr. Roberts came out that year. Marilyn Monroe starred in The Seven Year Itch. That famous skirt blowing scene, that was that film. I was 19 years old, 1955. One of the films New Hampshire people turned out to see was a June Allison Allen Ladd vehicle from Warner Brothers. The film was the McConnell story. It was the story of Captain Joseph Christopher McConnell Jr. He was America's top flying ace during the Korean War. To this day, Captain McConnell holds the record as the top scoring American fighter jet pilot. And boy, did he have a fascinating life. World War II, he enlisted. He wanted to be a pilot, but he was assigned to navigator training. Disappointment. As a navigator, he threw 60 combat missions in a B-24 Liberator. After the war, he applied again to be a pilot, and he was accepted. Got his wings in 1948. Two years later, the Korean War began. And Lieutenant McConnell found himself in an F-86 Sabre named Beauteous Butch. And Butch was his wife Pearl's nickname. During the conflict, Captain McConnell flew three different F-86s, and they all had the same name, Beauteous Butch. Captain was shot down twice, rescued by helicopter. In all, he destroyed 16 MiG jets. In 1953, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross by President Eisenhower himself. Also won the Silver Star and the Distinguished Flying Cross. After the war, Captain McConnell was a test pilot, and that was how he died testing an F-88 at Edwards Air Force Base. There was a control malfunction, and the plane crashed. One year and one month later, the movie came out about his life. Why am I telling you the story? It's because Captain Joseph McConnell grew up here in the city of Dover, New Hampshire. These are his roots. It was from here that he enlisted in the Army Air Force. What you see behind me is the McConnell Community Center, named in his honor.